Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create a classic Necron-themed base. Here are the paints I'll be using. This base is going to be decorated with some glowing green crystals, so first I'm going to show you how to create these crystals out of sprue. I found some straight pieces of sprue, and then I began carving them into shape using my clippers and hobby knife. And then, once I had a shape that I was pretty happy with, I then filed it smooth with a nail file. And there is a finished crystal. You could also use some pre-made resin crystals. I found these crystals online at Green Stuff World. To see where I want to put those crystals, I put the Necron back on the base, and now I'm going to be sticking the plastic crystal to the base with some plastic glue. And for the resin crystals, I'm sanding the bottom smooth, and then I'm going to be attaching them with a small drop of super glue. And then I made myself some basing paste, taking some drywall spackling, a little bit of black ink, and I'm going to be putting in some sand. I like to use ink instead of paint because the ink has a lot more pigment in it. And so if I use paint, I find that I have to add a lot more paints and that thins down the spackling. Once that was thoroughly mixed, I applied it to the base. I applied it making sure to keep it away from the crystals for now. Once the paste was on there, I went back in with a damp brush and I smoothed it out and I helped get it a little closer to the crystals. I then poked out the hole where the Necron pegs into, and then I added the Necron to the base. And then, now that I had the Necron on the base, I saw some areas could use a little bit more spackling, so I went back and I added those on. Once I was happy with how it looked, I let the base dry overnight. Once that was dry, I poked the Necron out of the base, and then I used my hobby knife to clean up the edge of the base. And then I primed the base black. I'm doing this with an airbrush, but you could do this with a rattle can too. When that was dry, I began dry brushing it, and my first layer was a heavy coat of P3 Iron Hull Gray. Next, I dry brushed a layer of Vallejo Stonewall Gray. This dry brush is a little bit lighter to show a little bit of the iron hull gray underneath. And then I did a very, very light dry brushing of some matte white, just to brighten the base up a little more. Then I painted all the crystals with some P3 Gnarls Green. Once that was dry, I then dry brushed the crystals and the area surrounding the crystals with some P3 Warm Green. I'm using a smaller brush with longer bristles so I have more control over where the dry brushing goes. Then I did another dry brushing with some P3 Cygnus Yellow on the tops of the crystals. Now the base is finished, and I painted the skirt with some P3 Gnarls Green. And there is a finished, classic Necron base. If you like the look of the Necron seen on this base, you can click here to see our previous video on it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, tune in tomorrow for another Necron painting scheme. If you have any other suggestions for video ideas you would like to see us do, please leave them in the comments below. If you followed along with this tutorial, please post your work on Instagram and tag Eons Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.